lighting situation is not too bad. As you can see, time for a shave. Yep, so we we'll need a shave. Hey there folks, um, yeah, not ideal tonight because um, it's quite late, normally I shave during the afternoon but let's see how it goes because we had to go for a family outing today and I'm doing the second run now with uh, the blade that got me quite bad the last time although there was only probably one spot that there was a weeper but it was kind of a bad weeper uh, so I'm going to go extra slow with this guy this week uh, Digging out the old favourites V-Long, the plastic handle V-Long uh, Some call it the cheap V-Long But I, I call it just that, the plastic handle one So let's go This is the Is this the Mercure Slant? Yes, the Mercure Slant razor. Uh, all in all, it was a pretty decent shaver until it came around this area. Probably lost a bit of focus too. Kind of hard to shave and talk at the same time though that being said this razor uh, its high point is that it seldom gets clogged even I think this is probably a uh, three weeks to one month old So you can see the bit, the blade gap of this guy is pretty uh, pretty large gap there. So you can see why it's can be considered a an aggressive razor. Hey, this big shout outs to new subscriber Hazim. Somehow he found the channel. And he said he found a hidden gold. I don't even I don't even consider this is where so far. Um, what I would consider as YouTube goal. Just hope that you know whatever shaving exploits I do here will give others like me <coughs> whose only exposure to the world of shaving was uh, seeing my dad's razor on the rusted old razor if I may add resting on the windowsill whenever I had a bath and it was always like this piece of equipment this um, strange piece of equipment that uh, I never knew why it existed and like many of us, once the Mark Tree, the Mark whatever came out, you know, Mark One Million maybe with <laughs> one million raises, uh, I was the first to hop my jump uh, bandwagon, thinking that you know yeah, the more. Uh, 
business you had the more it can slice through your hair you know? so that was supposed to be a good thing and um, yeah so we had those um, uh, you know those um, shaving um, shaving cream which came in a tube and then you just squeeze it out and just get a bit more shaving cream you now the horse hair brush is a little bit different from the uh, synthetic brush in that it does uh, a little bit of absorption of liquid so it tends to be somewhere at least for my experience in between uh, synthetics and badger badger you really have to you know do the soaking for the oh man something happened there hope you didn't get me again you'll see the last time it got me was something here So, went extra slow there today. Okay, anyway, um, yeah. as we all know, we take, you have to go at least two to three uh, runs on the razor to really call it on if you like the razor or not. I'm so I'm so sorry about the light in the background. No, it must be super duper irritating. How was it that I came across wet shaving? Um I can't really remember. Who introduced me to it? For a while I was like all about the straight razors, you know. Um, Sometimes you just need to be able to get the handle, the angle right. Because it's a new razor and it tends to be a little bit um, It's like meeting a new person. You don't know what is uh what are uh, yeah, what are the sensitive topics? What are the areas you can push a bit more, you know? So yeah, it's like getting just to know razor. So the blade here is the second run. It's the same blade that I used the first time. And I'm just uh, giving it a second time. Okay, now just going for the third and final run. Using the hand. Okay, not much stuff here. Just a lot of leftovers around this area here. The mustache area. Not much here. Oof. Okay. After many years, I still can't get the looking great while putting on the cream. Yeah, so then I think uh, for a while it was all straight razors. Then straight razors got a bit too scary for me. I can shave with them. In fact, I still have a few. But 
the renaissance and I can I think it's safe to say the renaissance of the shaving world what we, even a few runs on Kickstarter and Indiegogo even coming up with new races like uh, the mongoose and stuff it was just too alluring to not dip into that world and once you dip into that world um, yeah. the ease of doing it What tends to happen is your street rages get just get put on the side and run our wash up and I'll just put the cream together to see how how good of how good or bad it is. This is my own acid test. So this is the alcohol stuff and if you've done something wrong, if there was any hot spots it's gonna tell you straight away. No bleeders, no weepers, just a bit of a little bit of hot spot here. Here, yeah. a little bit unshaven. Let me touch that up a bit. Yeah, so second time was much much better with this razor and um, we are going to do a third then we're going to call it on this razor but I'm very happy with the slant um, would I call a weeper? nah, it's not a weeper yeah, happy with it see, as you can see give me a close shave I can't feel anything yes, I would say Hair is a real mess, gotta do something about it this week. And until we meet again in the next shave, happy shaving. And uh, watch out for the next one where we call this razor. Slama Bachuko.